Hey everybody, this is Beach Cricket, and today I am showing you Montezuma Well. This is at a national park at Montezuma Castle National Monument in Arizona. You can see where all the crevices where people have used them for homesteading. And this is it. There are no fish in here. That's a big well, isn't it? <laughs> it's a murky kind of dark green color. And it actually looks like it's low. There's a prickly pear cactus right there. And it uh, is said that the traditional stories uh, of the Yavapi and the Apache people say that once something emerges from the vents at the bottom of the well, it can never return. Even in times of regional drought, about 1.6 million gallons, 6 million liters of water flow through two main vents at the well's bottom each day. So the temperature is nearly about uh, 74 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is nearly constant. They have had dive teams go in and research it. There are no fish, just thousands of freshwater leeches that swim under the whale's surface at about 55 feet. And then there's um, fine sands that boil up in swirling cascading mounds. Okay, this is what it's about. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Without fish, the well does not have usual lake dynamics, so its unique habitat is home to creatures found nowhere else on the planet, and swimming leeches are major predators. So there's high levels of dissolved carbon dioxide, 80 times higher than most lakes, so that makes, it, makes life impossible for fish, amphibians, and some aquatic insects. So this well's has home for five species, miniature shrimp-looking um, creatures and leeches and a tiny snail and a water scorpion. And they have um, a one-cell plant called a diatom. So, that's what's in there. It is quite beautiful and majestic. They have it fixed up nice so you can go around and see all the natural beauty of nature here. So there you go. Beach Cricket takes you to the Montezuma Well. Beach Cricket out. Bye-bye.